Congresswoman Donna Edwards of Maryland was a key part of the tour, and she joins me now. Thank you so much, Congresswoman, for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's good to be with you. So the goal is to drive up turnout at the polls. Talk about the timing. Why is the timing so important? And what type of reception did you get out on the road? Well, first of all, women's voices are incredibly important in the midterm elections and getting them to turn out to vote on our three pillars, uh, equal pay for equal work, uh, paid, sick, paid sick leave, and also making sure that we have quality, affordable child care. And the th crowds were terrific. They were tremendous. We had great weather. Um, and That's always nice. <laughs> that, that was especially on a bus tour, um, but really enthusiastic for the agenda and for what it means for women. I want to talk to you about one of those pillars, which is, of course, raising the minimum wage. How important is this issue in terms of motivating women? Do you think that they're responding to that message about minimum wage? Well, I think they are. I mean, two-thirds of workers who work for the, minimum, for the minimum wage are women. And what that means is that when you're working for minimum wage, you can be working 40 hours a week and you don't even make it to the poverty line. This impacts women and families and, and, and children. And women really get that. And we had so many minimum wage workers who showed up at each one of these different events. And they told us how important it was for us to fight to raise that minimum wage to $10.10 an hour. You, the White House, pushing for that number, $10.10 an hour. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of momentum for that, though, on Capitol Hill. It doesn't seem politically viable. And I know that there has been some discussion about a compromise, uh, raising the minimum wage to $9, for example. Is that something that you would agree to a compromise legislation? Well, $9 doesn't get you to the poverty line. And I think that if you go to work every single day, you should make a wage that allows you to take care yourself is and your, some your increase families. better than no increase though well what I would say is we haven't raised the minimum wage since 2006 when Democrats actually had the gavel and what leader Pelosi said there is that public sentiment is everything and we have to raise that public sentiment in every single congressional district across this country then we'll have a Congress that understands the importance of raising the minimum wage to ten dollars and ten cents an hour